Mabuhai, Kamustika, welcome. How are you? This is Bob from Love Beyond the Sea. When a man looks for a potential wife, I doubt one of the things he wants is a woman who is going to be argumentative and hard to get along with. This might describe all of us at some point in our life, but we certainly don't want to live with someone like that. If I knew someone was easy going, that would get my interest up. Please subscribe to Love Beyond the Sea and learn about things that a foreigner should know about marrying a Filipina. Get notifications for upcoming videos and check out lvbts.com for podcasts as well as a private consult link. In today's video, let's take a look at one way I would describe a good Filipina in general, and that is being easygoing. Before I married my wife, almost all of the Filipinas I talked to came off as easygoing, relaxed, and good-natured. Talking with them was comfortable, which I wasn't expecting. I have read about this quality and it would be appealing to any man and suggest keeping your eyes open to this quality. A woman can be easygoing and lazy or passive-aggressive, so it should be the right kind of easygoing. Personal examples? My wife is much better at dealing with customer service than I am. If there was such a thing as a most wanted list for customer service reps to watch out for, I would be on that list. I can get so frustrated with them, unless they happen to be a Filipina, that my wife gets upset with me. She tries to explain to me how to be calmer. That is easy going. You might find it hard to believe, but there are times when I complain too much about things. My wife is better than I am at not complaining. I always am amazed at her for this. I am more demonstrative than my wife. She is more reserved. I am like a dog. She is like a cat. I would wonder how, excuse me, I would consider her a low maintenance woman, which is great. Her easygoing nature makes it easy to be around her. I would rather have to ask her to speak up than to ask her to um, pipe down. I talked recently about the quality of modesty, and I think being easygoing is another wonderful trait to have in a wife, something to really appreciate. Considering that a lot of Filipinas haven't grown up with the many amenities we have in America, they often have a smile on their face and live their life accepting what they can't change and do what they can to make it better. They don't seem hardened or bitter. I get this impression from the four times I have been in the Philippines, from watching YouTube videos, and of course from being married to my amazing Isa for over five years. No one is always easygoing and good-natured all the time, and I have at times frustrated my wife, but overall she has not held a grudge against me. I try to talk to her about us needing to make up quickly, and I think we've been able to do that by the grace of God. Sometimes I'm not the easiest guy to live with, but I believe that my Filipino wife generally gives me the space I need and is able to forgive me, and we can continue to try to live together in harmony. If there is a time when I need to remind her that there is something important that I want to do, she is able to allow me to do that. I want us both to be able to avoid micromanaging each other, and I, you know, trust her and I think she trusts me. I'd like to think we both give and take and that is a sign of being easygoing. Before I conclude, being easygoing is not to be mistaken for being afraid to speak up, to voice her opinion, to present a solution or being subservient to a slavish degree. It is the quality of being a good teammate and not making a mountain out of molehills. If you are married to a Filipina and she is easygoing, tell her you appreciate it. Keep this quality in mind if you are looking for love beyond the sea.